oh my goodness these are like the best combinations i've been using okay so, wait just give me a second in uh, because once i noticed that once you apply it okay again 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 rewind Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina with your Pinan in Dubai. And today I will be discussing something a little bit different. It's something I'm really interested to talk to you guys about because as you will notice throughout the years, I've always been transforming and changing my hair color. I've done it like blonde, I've done it red, I've done it like with a lot of highlights but now I changed it to something different which is great so many have been asking me ever since I got this color even at work or just outside just walking outside or just going to that public bathroom in the mall I've been asked so many times like they would always compliment my hair and then they would be asking me what color is your hair and then what did you do to your hair like how do you do it I always try to correct them um, I did first of all I did this in the salon I don't do this DIY and then second is that um, it does go through a bleaching process okay there is no way anybody can achieve this color without going through a bleaching process unless you naturally have gray or white hair this is not a DIY no First of all, you definitely have to go to the salon and let the hair experts do it on you. Now, uh, another thing I would do want to clarify is that in order to get your hair to become gray, you have to be prepared and know that your hair has to go through a bleaching process. Um, if I can show you a picture of how I looked before, my hair used to be really black. I am a very proud Filipina girl, so I do have really, really, really black hair. So in order to achieve a color like this, the salon must put bleach on my hair so that they will be able to remove like the outer layer or the outer, yeah, the outer layer of the hair strand where the black pigment is. Uh, my hair had to go through two bleaching processes they put bleach on top they left it for like 40 minutes they rinsed it and then they had to apply it again reapply it so once they washed it it turned like a corn white yeah i'll show you a picture of that somewhere on the screen so you will see how i looked before they actually applied the gray hair color on me for you guys who are here in Dubai, this question has been asked to me so many times like where is the salon that did my hair? Okay, so I will be putting it in the description box below for their link on Facebook but the name of the salon is Aja Salon, that's A-J-A -A Salon, which is a salon here in Riga. Alright, I, I did this color in the hair salon. What I will be discussing in this video is how to be able to maintain the gray hair color on your hair. Once you do a hair color like this, it doesn't stay forever. Yes, it does not. So once you do a bleaching process, it turns yellow, right? And then they put the gray hair color. For some reason, the gray hair color, once it's applied on your bleached hair, it really doesn't last. For others, it only lasts a week and then it fades and then their hair turns back to being yellow or blonde or orange but for me this is what the video is really about all right how did I do it the technique once you had it grayed out please do not go back to just using regular shampoo but whatever brand it is definitely it will just wash out the gray hair color so you will really need a lot of help from another element which is what we call a hair toner okay, according to my research duh. okay according to Google so what does a toner do to your hair 
So toner is a sweet little product that neutralizes the brassy yellow and orange tones on bleached hair. It is usually purple blue tinted and then when applied to bleached hair, it takes it to more of an ashy, dusty or platinum color. So that is the color that we are actually trying to achieve. That is why we are using a hair toner. So that is my secret and actually being able to maintain this color for a long period of time. Hair toners like these. Okay, so um, these are currently the ones I've been using. Okay, let me just show it to you first. This is... Okay, so this is it. This is the one. I am not so sure how to pronounce the name of the shampoo. It's Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf. Or maybe it's a, I think it's a German product. Schwarz, Schwarzkopf. 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 Okay, so it is a silver micellar shampoo for gray and lightened hair. And it says from the back, it cleanses and protects lightened or gray hair from yellowing. Alright. So if I shall just show you, it's actually really purple colored shampoo. This one is one of my favorites. I would definitely uh, recommend this. Although, do remember that silver shampoos or uh, purple shampoos like this one, it can be a bit pricey. All right, it is a bit pricey, but it really is all worth it because, like I told you, once you get get your hair grayed out, it only lasts like one week or two weeks. After that, it's gone. So it's like all your money is down, going down the drain, literally. But when you use a purple shampoo like this, you will be able to maintain your gray hair color for long periods of time. You can last. It, your gray hair color can last for six months or more. Aside from this one, uh, just recently, if you've noticed, I did post like a video of me going to Georgia. So while I was in Georgia, the funny story there is I wasn't able to bring a purple shampoo, my purple shampoo, which is this one. So I was really in a panic at that time, but I thought, hmm, wait, here in Georgia, I've noticed there's a lot of people here who have blonde hair. So for sure, I would be easily able to find a purple shampoo in the supermarket. And luckily, I did. And I found this shampoo, all right. Um, so as you can see, um, it's Tohika. Tohika. When I check, like from inside, it's the same. It's a purple color. So just basing on the picture and then the word toner and just seeing that it's also a purple shampoo, that's when I realized, okay, I think this is the thing that I've been looking for. So it is also a hair toner shampoo. Uh, if you are somewhere in Georgia, <laughs> yeah, so this is the product I've been using. If any one of you have seen something similar, yes, try this out. It's really effective. It really lessened the brassiness or the yellowish tones of my hair after application. Once you use any of these hair toners, do use a lot of conditioner so that your hair will be silky smooth again because these hair toners are very strong in chemicals and remember you do have bleached hair so basically your hair is already damaged or is already dry for sure but the only way to be able to preserve the healthy looking of the hair is by adding additional components to your everyday hair routine so I would recommend a lot of conditioner and then putting hair serums or hair oils on the hair after you know your daily a washing routine okay. now what I'm going to do is I will be showing you how I do it but of course I will not be showing you how I take a bath <laughs> that censorship censored so I will be applying this and then after that I will fix myself and then you will be seeing my finished look
just enjoy the summer feel here at City State Beach Resort in Ras Al Khaimah. So I hope this video has been very helpful for you guys, very informative. And I do hope that somehow I have given you some really, really important tips that you may also use at your very own home. So if you have any comments and suggestions about this video and what other type of videos you'd like me to do next in my channel, just do comment down below. Do not hesitate. You can just tell me anything you want. And I would also like to mention that if you notice my beautiful nails in this video, I would like to do a shout out and a special mention to my very good friend, MV. She is now starting up her own business. It is uh, Blissful Nails by MV. Okay, so these are acrylic nails. They are very strong. So for those who have very weak nails like me, wherein I easily break my nails just by moving a lot, you have to try out the acrylic nails. It really stays on for like, it can last for two months without removing it. And then it makes the nails much more stronger. So these are the nails done by my very good friend MV. So Blissful Nails by MV can do her service in the Riga area in Dubai. So if you'd like to contact her, if you're interested, please just check out the details in the description box. She has a really nice promotion for you guys who are very much interested to get your nails done. So yeah, check out Blissful Nails by MV. Okay, thank you so much again for tuning in. And see you on my next video. My name is Sabrina with a Z, your Pinai in Dubai. Signing off. Bye. If I want to, won't feel lucky for you, I don't want to, won't to. I can take your man's if I want to.